What's going on guys? It's Tony with Things That Don't Suck. And today I'm going to be bringing you a Mother of All Bombs, aka MOAB, on the uh, map Fallen. Uh, so my class setup for this game is going to be the Silence Scar with the Kick Proficiency, that portable radar you just saw there, uh, Simtex Grenade, um, the perks that I picked are Sleight of Hand, Hardline, and Dead Silence. And for the strike package, it's pretty much the default strike package if you're trying to get MOAB. It's the uh, Specialist. So uh, here I die twice right off the bat, and uh, this is where I think my streak starts. So the Specialist package is a really good thing to have, just because you get all the perks, and uh, you also don't have to really keep track of your kills as much, because anything, any kill you got, you obviously got with your gun, so you know you're getting close to MOAB when you're, you know, 22 or 20 kills. Um, so what I'm going to be pretty much doing as my tactic and my strategy for this map is putting my portable radar right here in between the staircase and that's uh, really important because it's in a, a secluded spot that not many people go through so it's not going to get destroyed or it's much less likely to get destroyed and it really will just cover this entire building and the spawns that happen on the back left side of this map leaving me free and, and able to cover this area of the map which is the, the right side, you know, back right side and so, you know, by myself on a free-for-all game with this portable radar, I can hold this entire part of the map, which, you know, looks like a quarter of the map, and it's just very advantageous if you're trying to go for MOABs. Uh, I definitely recommend having a portable radar at, at all times. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the issues I'm having with Call of Duty Elite and just this game in general, and then afterward I want to talk to you a little bit about our site that we have. Um, so Call of Duty Elite. If you guys didn't know this, if you activate your Call of Duty Elite service using your console first without going to a computer, you run the risk of being locked out of, uh, on checking your Elite service on a computer. Basically, what that means is uh, you can only access your stats and you know change your clans and, and do all the things that Elite offers on your Xbox, at least for the time being. And they're trying to fix it, but for now it's just very, very aggravating. I just feel like with the amount of money that we've poured into this game, and especially paying extra for this service, you would think they would have these issues you know, taken care of immediately once they arise. And it just feels like they, they take their time, they don't really pay attention to, to what people are talking about, especially in forums. If you guys go on any of the forums, you'll see it's being you know, complained about everywhere. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit is the lag. Uh, the Christmas patch was supposed to fix the lag, and for the most part it has. I had noticed a, a big improvement on the lag. But for the last couple days I've been playing uh, Domination and especially Ground War. And uh, even when I have full green bar connections, even when my friends are hosts you know, from, from Europe and they're running a gigabyte connection speeds... Uh, we're still getting lag, and it just, I don't know where it's coming from. No one's red barring. It's just very, very annoying, and it causes, you know, the game experience to just be ruined for me. Um, so I really want to move into uh, our website, and uh, that's things I don't suck that info in case you guys don't know. Uh, and it's a website that me and my roommate created. Uh, we're really excited with the new content that we're implementing, and, uh, it, you know, we're trying to find new ways to make it so you guys can be involved and interact and comment and, you know, just be a, a part of the site more so than just an outsider looking in. Uh, let's get started with our Battle Royale feature. Uh, now we're going to be matching anything you can think of from who's going to win the Super Bowl to what movie you're interested in and, you know, the latest and, and greatest brawls of all time between, you know, superheroes or whoever. We, right now we have uh, Hulk and Superman. It's just a fun competition where you guys, the voters, get to decide who wins. Um, on top of that, we've added uh, Melon Monday and Thong Thursday to our Babelicious section, which is a, just a, a sexy girl section that we've, we've had for a little while. And that's where we'll be showing off two racks or a pair of booties for you to choose from. Uh, and the winner can carry on to next week and face off against the newcomer. Uh, on top of that, we've added a uh, page where you guys can submit your own content and really let the masses see what you have and just... You know, it's, it's a good way for you guys to share, you know, pictures or videos or anything else you might have that you think is worthy 
uh, of a of posting. Um, we've also implemented a point system so that for each post or comment or just even the amount of time you spend on the site uh, racks up points for you. And uh, what that'll do is uh, the most active users at the end of the month can look forward to a, a monthly giveaway. You know, we'll do anything from iPads to Microsoft points. You know, just something cool to, to you know as an incentive for you guys to to do things on the site but um, we're always trying to find new things and add new things to the site so if you have any uh, ideas just uh, shoot us an email or leave a comment but uh, that wraps up the video I hope you enjoyed the mother of all bombs and uh, check out our site at things that don't suck that info thanks see ya